tutorial we will going to be learning about parallel arrays. Parallel arrays are basically two arrays having the same number of elements and holding the values that go with each other. For example, having a parts array and the prices array. So the part in the first element has its price in the first element in another array. Similarly, I can have three sets of array. One holds the part IDs, one holds the part names, and one holds the part price. So I will going to go to the first element of one array, that will be the part ID. I'm going to go to the first element of the second array, that will be the part name. I'll go to the first element of the third array, that will going to be the part price. So that's basically what a parallel array is. So what we're going to be doing in this example is we're going to generate a parallel array of names. So I'm going to try to teach you two things. One is to how to code a pre-populated array. The other thing I would like to work with over here is how to use a parallel array. So we have got some scores here. Instead of putting the three down, I would rather like to declare a constant so that I could use that constant to be declaring multiple parallel arrays. So I would like to declare a constant of type integer call the max and I'm going to give it the value 3. Instead of using 3, I'm going to just simply use max. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare another array of type string and I would like to call this one names. Now one of the things in Java is you could be using your square brackets with the data type or you could be using your square brackets with the name of the array. Either way it just works fine. So this is how you create a pre-populated array that after you declare the array with the square brackets, you can now list the values that you would like to store in the array. So if I would like to store three values, I will going to put three values here and that will going to define the size of my array. So let's say I want to have three names here, Sarah, Holly, and Abby. Now I would like to display the names of students along with every score. So instead of saying scores, element, this, I would now like to say Abby's score and I'll say this is Abby's score. So I will going to display the name of the person followed by their score. So I'm going to just change or rework some of this logic out here to make it fit my current needs. So my names are stored in the names array and the number of elements in the names array and the scores array is exactly the same, which is the max, which is the three. So that's why I could be using both of them in the same loop because their size is the same. They both start at zero, the both end at two. So I could be using something like this, the same CTR counter to generate the names and the scores. So now this is what I'm gonna display. Sarah scores and then the score of the Sarah, Ali score, Ali score, Abby score, Abby score. And those three scores will going to be the one that I'm going to accept from the user. So the names are pre-populated and the scores are accepted from user. So let's try to run this program the way it is right now. So we're going to be accepting the three scores from user. Let's say 78, 88, 99, and here you have your output. Sarah's score, Ali's score, Abby's score. So this is how you can be using a parallel array in your example. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial and we will going to be later on working with other implementations of using parallel arrays as for example using more than two parallel arrays, how to use parallel arrays in multi-dimensional arrays and how to use an array of objects. Catch you in the next tutorial.